the forthcoming Cheltenham Gold Cup and the old man Compton Lad, the grey, leads them from White Paper and Talon and Mr. Mellors and Court. And uh, White Paper landed in the lead and they're all safely over the first, though Brent Mystery hit it rather hard. And White Paper, the leader, as they come to the second from Mr. Mellors and Court. Then Talon and Compton Lad and Further Thought and Border Berg all safely over that. White Paper, Mr. Mellors and Court, Talon and Compton Lad and then Borderberg and Further Thought and Spartan Missile. Then just in behind them comes Mount Fadan. The back markers at the moment are Ursa and Eliogeti. Going quite a good gallop as they race to the third of the 22 fences. White Paper from Mr. Mellors caught on the inside Talon. Then comes Further Thought on the outside, Compton Lad on the inner, Vorderberg is next, and then comes Spartan Missile. Mistake there by Tandy's Tonic, but got away with it. Racing now to the water for the first time, number four this time, number 14 on the second circuit. White Paper from Mr. Mellors and Talon. Then Cork, Further Thought and Spartan Missile on the outside. This is the first of the four ditches, White Paper, Talon, Cork. And further thoughts of all of that. Further thought, the co-favorite, went at that one. And White Paper is in the lead from Talon in second. Then come Mr. Mellors, and on the outside, Spartan Missile. Then Cork, behind Cork, is Compton Laird and then Borderberg as they come to the second ditch. White Paper lands in the lead from Talon in second. And all the remainder are safely over it, though Ursa jumped it very slowly in rear. White paper as they come to the next. The top of the hill, white paper lands in the lead from Talon. Spartan Missile has gone up there. Then comes Mr. Mellors, then Cork, then Borderberg and Compton Laird. Behind them, Cherry Chief as they run towards the night. White Paper landed in the lead from Talon and Spartan Missile. Then Mr. Mellors and Borderberg and Corked and Compton Laird. Elm Boy, not far behind them. Coming to the tenth. White Paper and Talon. Talon landed marginally in the lead from White Paper. Then Spartan Missile in third. Then Mr. Mellors as they swing into the straight on the first circuit with Broad Munro Wilson in the lead on Talon from White Paper, Spartan Missile, Mr. Mellors, Court, Border Berg, Compton Ladd over on the far side, Elm Boy just in behind the leaders, Eliogerty lying about 10th at the moment as they jump the 11th. Still Talon from Mr. Mellors, Spartan Missile, White Paper, Elm Boy, Borderberg, Cork, Compton Laird. Then comes Cherry Chief and then Eliogerty making ground steadily. Ursa a faller at that one. Ursa has gone. The horse up all right and his rider has risen too. Keith Reed. So 15 still standing as they go out on another complete circuit with Talon leading Mr. Mellor's M Boy, Elm Boy, Borderberg, Cork, Compton, Laird, Eliogerty making ground on the inside, on the outside rather. And Prominent King a mistake there. Brent Mystery a mistake in rear. And several of them getting in arrears now. Marin Dean got a lot to do. Tandy's tonic also. Talon landed in the lead there from Elm Boy second, Mr. Mellors third, Borderberg four, Corked five, Spartan Missile six, Eliogerty seven as they jump the third ditch. Talon landed in the lead from Elm Boy, Mr. Mellors, Borderberg, Eliogerty now gone into fifth as they jump the 16th. Cherry Chief is next. And now it's Elm Boy who has taken over as they come to the sixth from home. The final ditch, Elm Boy jumps it 
five lengths clear of Talon, Border Berg, Mr. Mellors, Cherry Chief, Eliogaty, Prominent King. Corked and white paper have both pulled up. Elm Boy is clear. Five from home. Elm Boy with Border Berg now going second. Talon third. Cherry Chief four. Eliogaty five. Six is Mr. Mellors. Seven Compton Laird is making ground. Four left to jump now. Elm Boy from Border Berg. Elm Boy lands in the lead. Four lengths clear of Border Berg. Then comes Talon, then Cherry Chief, then Eliogaty. Racing down now towards the next, the third last, and it's Elm Boy from Borderberg, then Talon. Elm Boy, beautiful jump there from Borderberg in second, then Talon, then Cherry Chief, then Eliogaty. Elm Boy and Mr. Alan Hill as they level up now for home. Just two fences left to jump in the Christie's Fox Hunters Challenge Cup and Elm Boy is clear of Borderberg and Talon. Penultimate fence this. Borderberg. Elm Boy jumps it well clear of Borderberg second. Talon third. Coming to the final fence now. Elm Boy a long way clear of Borderberg. It looks as though he's only got to jump it. Ears pricked. Elm Boy. Oh, he doesn't jump it brilliantly, but gets away with it. Borderberg jumps it second. Coming to jump it third is Talon. And as they race into the closing stages, Elm Boy and Alan Hill stride away to win this from Borderberg and Peter Greenall with Rob Munro Wilson third on Talon and Compton Ladd fourth, the grey. And in fact, Eliogaty fifth. And so the result first, number seven. Elm Boy, owned by Mr. W. N. Moore. Trained by him, Norman Moore. And written by Mr. Alan Hill. Second, number one, Borderberg. Owned by Mr. James Delahook. Trained by him and written by Mr. Peter Greenall. And third, number 15, Talon. Owned by Mr. Brod Munro Wilson. Trained by Roddy Armitage. And written by Brod Munro Wilson. Fourth was number four, Compton Laird. So a clear cut success. And one consolation for the veteran Spartan missile that in his last race he did at least complete. Boy, uh, ten to one. Second number one, Border Berg, 16 to 1. Third number 15, Talon, 66 to 1. First, Elmboy, 10 to 1. Second, Border Berg, 16 to 1. The third, Talon, 66 to 1. The jackpot number.